Back during the holidays, I met Shannon Downey. She had found an unfinished quilt at an estate sale. It moved her so much, she bought it for $6. Immediately, she decided it had to be completed. So she put out a call on social media for other crafters to join her, but she had no clue it would bring thousands of people together. So remember this story? You go to a sale sales often, so you didn't know this woman, right? I did not know her. Yeah. I didn't know anything about her. We found out some information about her. We found out um, her name was Rita Smith. Uh, she was 99 when she passed uh, yeah. recently. She was a school nurse, a ferocious crafter. But wait, many of the volunteers <laughs> who worked on Rita's quilt recorded video diaries. Y'all take a look. For the Rita's quilt, I stitched the state of New Hampshire. In Kentucky. North Carolina. Carolina. Arkansas. West Virginia. Minnesota. Stitching one of the 50 stars. New Jersey. Oklahoma. I got to work on the Idaho Square. I am working on the Michigan Hexagon. Rita had to put this project down in order to take care of her husband, whose health was failing. Shannon posted a call to her Instagram followers for helping Rita complete this piece. I was so excited and jumped at the opportunity. I really love collaborative art projects. To volunteer my art felt really special to share that. I feel very lucky to be a part of something that carries on a legacy. Women uplifting other women. All right, well, once the pieces of the quilt were stitched, there was one more step, putting it all together. 35 women got together and got the job done in just one day. That's a lot of work. I've quilted something that's a lot of work. Um, and the result was absolutely stunning. Take a look. All right, let's get Shannon on the line to get an update on Rita's quilt. What's up, Shannon? Hi, Kelly. What's up, girl? Oh, I like your background. That's so beautiful and like happy. I wallpapered. <laughs> I love it. I love wallpaper. Oh my gosh. I didn't used to, but now I'm like so into it like the last couple of years, whatever. Um, <laughs> so Shannon, uh, tell us about the unveiling um, of the quilt at the National Quilt Museum. That's, that's awesome. Kelly, it was so cool. Yeah. So like, you know, my vision for it was that I always wanted it in a museum. And then um, this was so much more than that though, right? Like it wasn't just like a quilt on a wall. The National Quilt Museum like did a whole exhibit around it. And then like 40 folks who worked on it all came to, like we all went to Paducah from across the country with our families. Yeah. And we all got to and hang out and see, you know, like see the quilt and be there for the unveiling. Um, I, it was so, it was just really special. And and it was really neat to see um, people who worked on their pieces, seeing the quilts like for the first time. Yeah. There, was, there was a lot of crying. <laughs> so, well, I can only imagine. Um, so I heard you all did something to make the memory extra permanent. So tell us about that. Boy, did we. Yeah, that morning we headed to the tattoo studio and we all got inked up. <laughs> Are you serious? Everybody was down? Yeah, well, like half, half the folks were down. Um, oh my God, I was going to say, I have like 17. Don't start unless you want to keep going. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I know. Um, so the folks that, that were down, we all went. We we had two different designs to pick from. I got one of the Rita's quilt uh, hexagons. Cool. <laughs> it was so neat. And then like folks who weren't able to make it to Paducah, like went to tattoo like studios in their neighborhoods and got tatted too. Oh my <laughs> so. gosh, that's so cool. So, so you're now going around meeting more of the women who worked on the quilt, right? Yeah. Uh, three weeks ago, I gave up my job and my apartment and I moved into an RV and me and my dogs are driving around the country and we're just, we're teaching and, you know, I'm teaching embroidery and craftivism and I'm going to all of, uh, all of the places with all of the, the folks who worked on it to sort of hang out with them and, and bring the quilt to them and show it off to their communities. And so I started in Illinois and then made my way to Michigan where I hung out in uh, in one of the Stitcher's driveways for a week. That's <laughs> and, awesome. You're like, you're like the cousin on Christmas. I Christmas. totally okay. am. That's awesome. <laughs> I totally am. I just roll up and I'm like, can I plug in? Cool. Yeah. I'm just going to hang out here for a week and we'll stitch oh, and hang gosh. out. <laughs> That's so cool. You should document all this. Oh, I am. Oh, okay, good. I'm like, man, you should document all this. This is so cool. Like, what a cool road trip. And, like, what a cool yeah. just change of pace, um, especially in a time when everyone's kind of stuck, you know? Yeah. Um, you're, you're on wheels. That's awesome. Yeah, it feels like a real gift. Thank you so much, Shannon.